Okay, in this video, we're gonna be opening this up and testing it out. So let's just go ahead and open it up. This is the box that it came in. Wow, really fancy. <laughs> Fun little box, right? Oh, that's cool. That's cool, it comes with an XLR cable. I did not know that. I, I failed to realize that it comes with an XLR cable. Now I already have, I have multiple XLR cables, but the fact that it comes with one is an added bonus. So if you don't have one, that's kind of cool that it comes with one so you don't have to go out and buy one. That's pretty cool. Interesting cable too. It's got like these, like this bendy stuff here. And let's open this up. Rugsty, I believe that's how you say it. It's got a really cool name. This is pretty big. Yeah, this is pretty nice, pretty nice. It kind of looks like my, uh, I have a Scarlet Solo, which I use, so this will be a nice comparison um, to that. I'm gonna go ahead and like set this up. USB audio interface. Yeah, this one has uh, two, two, you can plug in two different uh, microphones or instruments. I'm gonna use this with a mic. Very nice. And there's the outputs there. And I, there should be a connection here that comes with it. Yep, here it is. Yeah, this is what you plug in back here, and this goes into the computer. Very good. I like the cord. I'm noticing it. It's it's like a different material than other cords. It's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of my Amazon Basics phone charging cable. It's made of like this cloth material. I like that. Here's the user manual, which is nice. And it comes with this. I'm not sure what this is. Probably some type of adapter. And this here. So I pretty much already know how to use these. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and test it out with my microphone and see what it sounds like. I just wanna give you a good look at this. This is really nice. It's pretty big. Uh, I'm excited about it. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. Okay, I'm back. So I've plugged it in. Basically, you take this and you plug it into your computer. And then back over here, it's got uh, a little option for 48 volts, you wanna turn that on. And this wire here connects to your microphone. So what I've done is I've taken this wire and I've connected it to my Shure SM7B microphone. And I'm using OBS to record the sound. And as you can see, as I talk, the sound is being displayed here on the computer. So it's picking it up. Um, OBS calls it uh, microphone USB advanced audio device. Let me zoom in there so you can see it. So OBS is picking up the sound. The sound is crystal clear. I've got my headset plugged in here. And here's my headset. And so as I speak through my microphone, um, I can hear the sound. So I like this one a lot because it's got two ports. So I can have like a microphone and I can have an instrument or uh, maybe even two microphones perhaps. Uh, so if you're doing like a podcast, um, let me show you the one I currently have also besides this one. So for comparison, let me just open this up and show you. Here's my mic. My normal setup uh, for certain videos is using this one. So this is the Focusrite Scarlet. Um, so I also got this one on Amazon. The big difference between this one and this one is that this allows for two microphones and this is the Solo. They make a duo, but um, you know this, this usually costs more than this typically. So um, this is a uh, more budget level. It's a lot less expensive and you get more features. So. Yeah, uh, really, really happy with this um, because now whenever I have another mic uh, or an instrument, I can hook up two things. And I like the sound. I would say it's very comparable to the Scarlett. Um, yeah, I like it. I am very happy with this. So I think if you're looking for an audio interface, I think this one's pretty good because again, you get, you get the option for two different things. Uh, and I think that says a lot. Also, it's plug and play, right? I was able to use uh, OBS and it detected it immediately. No issues at all. So yeah, I like it. Good luck.